Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a short video today that will demonstrate to you how to manage, edit and add blog posts in Wix. So how to create a blog in Wix, how to draft a blog, uh, that will be covered today. So to do this, uh, all you need to do is hit the add elements button and navigate down to where it says blog on the left hand side here. So obviously you'll need to install a little widget to do this with. Um, and if you haven't got it already, this is what you'll see. So I'm going to take you through that process step by step and I'll click add to site and it'll add the Wix blog capability to my website. That'll take a second. Okay. So now that we have Wix blog enabled on our site and you've installed that little app, uh, you can go ahead and write your first post. So that will take us through it in a step-by-step -step process and obviously you just hit the little write post button here that opens the post maker window and the first thing that we'll need to do is give your blog a title obviously i'm just doing it uh, for demonstration purposes here today so i'm going to do that and then you can start writing your post here so so Typically, with a blog, you want it to be a little bit more than just text. Um, you typically want to add some images to it, which is something that's very you know, common. And to do that, you can hit the little Add button here. And then, obviously, you can decide how to format your images or video, uh, whether you want to add a button to it somewhere else, embed some code. Uh, if we just click the image, just to give you an example, that's going to then allow us to upload some images. Um, if you've got any media on Wix or you can access Shutterstock and Unsplash from here as well. Um, I'm just going to upload some media very quickly. Obviously, you can do that uh, from a number of platforms which are on display here. If you want, you can link it from a URL from a Google search, for example. I'm going to upload from my computer and upload just a random image for you. I'll add that to my page and there appears my image. So obviously I've got some uh, very basic settings and control over that image. Um, I can make it the full width of the blog post, uh, best fit or small fit, however you want to kind of format it. It kind of looks right there for me. You can justify it, align it to the left, align it to the right. You can see there's some very basic functions that you can perform on it. You can edit the image and that'll open up in a little photo studio window for you. If you want to kind of, you know, overlay some text or point to something or circle something on the blog post. You've also then got a couple of basic settings. You can add a caption to your image here, um, any alternative text and make it expandable. Once you've done that, you can hit the save button. Ensure you do that for any changes to take effect. You can use it to link to somewhere else if you need that capability. And obviously you can delete it there as well. So you can see that this is quite a functional kind of blog maker here that they've got built into it, which I'd highly recommend. Um, it's got a couple of other options for you, some SEO settings that you can get access to there. Um, the capability to add a category to your blog, and you can just type it in there. Um, some tags as well that will describe what the post is about, you know, so... Um, uh, readers would be able to click on those tags and then look at other posts that are associated with those tags as well, including your own. So that's a really good way of, um, it's the equivalent of like hashtags on Instagram, for example. It's a really good way of getting your blog seen by people as well. Obviously, you can monetize it if you're interested in doing so as well and translate it to some different languages if you want users of different languages to be able to read your blog. So. Once you're happy with that, then obviously in the top right hand corner, you see the little publish button. If you hit that, that will publish the blog just as you want it to format it. Um, you can now enter the editor and view it um, if you click that. Once you're back on the site, then you'll notice that we've now got a blog page added. Um, you can see it in the menu for our website. And if we preview it, just so you can have a look. If we click the little blog page, you'll see that the blog that we just created in the uh, Wix blog maker is now appearing there. And any other blogs that you create in the same manner will now appear 
just above that in order. Uh, you can see it's quite an effective kind of blog maker, formatted really well. Um, you've got the option to edit that post should you notice a mistake or if you want to kind of make any modifications to it or update it, you can also delete it by hitting the three little dots on the right hand side there. So now that we've got this capability uh, built into our Wix website, you will now see that you've got the blog option added to your dashboard. So if you want to create another one, if you just go to posts and then on the top right hand corner, you've got the ability to create a new post there. You can also manage your blogs, edit them from here, uh, delete them, duplicate them if you need for any reason. And you can also get some analytics to see information about who's been looking and interacting with your blogs um, and obviously some more settings here for them. So that is a very quick overview of how to draft a blog in Wix or how to format a blog. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and found it informative. If you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from Wix experts, then click the link in the description below. Even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site, the support team of Wix web developers is here to help you. If you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.